Hello, loves. It's time for Do It With Dick with me, Dick Swagger. I'm gonna teach you how to do something, so stick around. We need me, it's time for the theme song. I haven't written, gonna put it in now. It's Do It With Dick. Do it with dick. Do it with dick. Do it with dick. Welcome back. Time for a, a DIY project because you've got nothing better to do. So this is a DIY that I filmed back over the summer uh, as I was about to move out of my dad's house after I'd moved back for quarantine. And I had these big plastic chests that had my clothes in them. And they just, you know, they look real tacky, not gonna lie. They look really tacky. I am going for more of a vampire-y vibe in my place, as you can tell. <laughs> so I didn't really want these plastic bins for my clothes, but I also can't really afford to buy any furniture and don't really wanna buy any furniture just in case something happens. You know how this year has gone. I don't have to tell you anything about that. Uh, nothing is certain in the land of today. Damn, that was fucking deep. Uh, nothing is certain in the land of today. So I was thinking to myself, Dick, can we do something with this? Can we make these look more presentable and more decent? And I was actually on Pinterest. I literally, I think I searched plastic chest of drawer makeover or something. And immediately there was one that came up where someone had painted each drawer to look like suitcases, like suitcases stacked on top of each other. And I love that idea. But instead of painting, because I'm not really, mm, how do I put this? Mm, I'm not so much of a fine artist. I have a lot of things that I feel like I can do. I feel like I am crafty. You know, I have definitely improved in my paint skills for the face kind of paint. But as far as actual paint, that's not, mm, I'm not that guy, you know? I really wish I was, but I'm not that guy. I was like, I feel like if I try to do that and actually paint it, it might not come out looking so hot. But what I did find also on either Pinterest or Google was that someone had Mod Podged fabric onto the plastic. And that way it doesn't even look like plastic because it changes the texture of the exterior. And that's pretty much what I did. I essentially took out all the plastic drawers first. I found this really awesome spray paint that gives sort of a hammered metal effect. And I figured if I could spray that on the frame of the drawers, it would make that also not look like plastic and make it look like a metal texture. For the drawers, I essentially measured out where I wanted the fabric to go and cut out the pieces, mod podge them on. It was super, super easy. I think I did another layer on top just to kind of seal everything in. And after that, I spray painted the taped off parts of the drawers where I wanted that to be where the hardware of the luggage was supposed to be. And I ended up finding these little half pearls at the Dollar Tree that I then painted more of a silver tone to match the hammered metal effect that I used earlier. And I just hot glued those on. I did use a ruler to kind of space those out or else it would have looked really weird. But yeah, so now they look like grommets on the luggage. And it doesn't completely read as luggage, but it doesn't look like plastic drawers either. And I am, I am so happy with it. I ended up doing it to another uh, chest of drawers that my dad gave me that I, that I keep all of my like film equipment and stuff in. So it ended up working out really, really nicely. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and there's gonna be more coming soon. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to, I don't care. And if there's anything you wanna see from me in this channel, drag stuff, DIY stuff, sort of costuming-ish things. Ish. I say ish because I'm not like an actual costumer, but I do, I do know a thing or two. I know a thing or two about not knowing a thing or two and being able to work with that, so.
I think a lot of people can relate to that. Okay, I love you, bye. Uh, you could drop a comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see from me. I am willing to do anything for you. I would do anything for love, but I won't do, I pretty much do anything. Oh God, this is, how do I make it not cringy? Can't focus on anything, but I gotta get this done for my own fucking sanity. I'm going insane. Um...